Hello everyone. Today is our final video in our four part series on frescoes and pharaohs. Today's video is going to be about how the Teladaba frescoes leap across cultures by incorporating Aegean aesthetics in the Egyptian landscape. My name is Ria, and as I'm an art history major, I'd like to look at the frescoes in the method of visual analysis, an essential tool of the discipline. On the left is one of the earliest examples of fresco painting and shares subject matter with the Minoan frescoes that we are studying. On the right is Cours Londes, an ancient form of bullfighting practiced in modern day arenas in France and Spain. We can see that there's a long standing tradition of spectacle and sport associated with bull leaping and fighting. The frescoes that we are researching were found in excavations done in 1990 in Tel Aldaba and they were originally discovered together as thousands of plaster fragments in dumps and gardens remaining from a Hyksos mud brick palace. The excavations were conducted by the Austrian Institute under the supervision of Professor Manfred Biedak, an author of much of the literature that we have cited throughout our research. You know, from the fragments found at Tel Odaba, scholars have been able to piece together a rather complicated historical puzzle make inferences about cultural, political, and economic connections between Egyptian and Aegean civilizations through reconstructing the subject matter of the frescoes. In this image, you can see how active and spectacular these frescoes actually are. It's an incredibly dynamic composition where you see these glorious bulls leaping to the landscape and terrain. They have piebald hides and these storiadors jumping off their sturdy and curved backs. While the remnants of the frescoes were scattered, this rendering really shows how vivid and beautiful the colors and the composition actually are. What do you all think? Wow, I really love how animated these images are compared to more traditional Egyptian paintings. Wow, and I can't believe they're so intricate and detailed. It's really amazing how they were able to piece this together from thousands of tiny fragments. Throughout our research, we have continued to ask how and why these frescoes, and likely the Minoan artisans that painted them, reached Avaris. In addition to the economics and politics potentially involved in the relationship between the Hyksos and the Minoans, there are close connections between their artistic traditions, which leads us to ask the following questions. How and why did Minoan artists and art come to Egypt? What Minoan motifs were inserted into the Egyptian context? How are these two civilizations artistically related? For instance, on this slide, you can see two reconstructions from the attack's further research into the frescoes. On the left is likely a leopard, native to Africa, but depicted in a naturalistic Minoan style, prowling through the landscape. Outside of their immediate environment in Crete, Minoan artists and avarice were adapting their skills and artistic knowledge to nilotic wildlife and may also have been referring to feral cats in this fresco. On the right is a central theme that connects these frescoes to the Minoan world, bull sports and toreadors. The semi rose up frieze and maze pattern here were common to Minoan palatial architecture and the Minoan cult respectively. Additionally, as we've just flipped through these slides and familiarized ourselves with the art at Tel El Daba, there are very clear Minoan color conventions emerging here of yellow, ochres, blues, reds, and whites. And the aesthetic and diamondism of these frescoes doesn't necessarily fit with the grain of what many people equate with Egyptian art, which is a lot more static. Biotech identified six elements that characterize these frescoes at Avaris as Minoan. Technique, evident in the styles of fresco that did not survive in Egyptian climatic conditions and mud brick architecture. Color conventions of skin tones and landscapes. Motifs, style of design and clothing, composition of the environment and setting and emblems in terms of architecture. The most striking of these elements is that of motifs. This is just another rendering of what a leopard would look like in a signature flying gallop pose. 
Apart from Minoan motifs associated with plants, animals, and human figures, as listed on the slide, the portrayal of bull acrobatics is a common ritualistic and symbolic theme in Minoan culture. Many of these frescoes use motifs indicating vitality, vigor, and action, such as leaping bulls, acrobats, and hunting dogs. This is evident with the artist's use of the archetypal flying gallop pose in Minoan art, where an animal jumps and has all four legs extended outwards. Like the Toreador frescoes from the Palace of Gnosis, a quintessential example of Minoan wall painting, the Teladaba frescoes are contextualized within Minoan culture, but are applied to an environment on the other side of the Mediterranean. <laughs>